Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have this full coverage makeup for you. It is super easy and totally my full coverage routine products I like to go to. So if you guys want to see, let's go ahead and hop right on it. Getting started, I'm taking my favorite Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This makes sure that your pores are locked in. It pretty much blurs out your skin to give you an even looking complexion with no pores like I'm obsessed makes my makeup last all day long and it is just an amazing primer so when I want a full coverage full glam look I always go to this primer just rub it into mainly the t-zone area but then smooth it out to the rest of the face for my foundation I'm mixing both of these together the NARS natural radiant and the L'Oreal infallible full wear I'm gonna have the names of these linked down below for you guys so be sure to check there but I'm also gonna be using it on this Moda brush now you guys these together is the most full coverage look but not cakey like it looks like it's very natural but it's full coverage you totally can use these products on its own and still get a really good payoff but I love mixing them together it just makes the skin look amazing like very pretty and effortlessly like airbrushed almost and this brush does wonders so this brush is by moda and i talk about it all the time it is my absolute favorite and both of these foundations i'm telling you together look incredible so i'm just going to go ahead and put this all over my face making sure i blend it down to my neck and my ears For concealer, I'm going with my favorite Too Faced Born This Way multi-use concealer. This one's in the color Light Beige, and I'm applying a little bit of a decent amount under my eyes, and then I'm going to do a little bit down my nose, my cupid's bow, chin, and then I'm going to go in with a different one for my forehead. I know that sounds a little weird, but I like to match it more. So this one's the L'Oreal Full Wear. And I'm just going to apply a little bit onto my forehead area. And I like that because I don't want it to be super brightening, but I do like to kind of mix these two. It's a beautiful combination and it just gives a full coverage vibe. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this in, in the exact form that I had placed under my eyes, just so we kind of keep it in that upside down triangle motion. And just blending this in with this sponge and I absolutely love the finish of it. These products, you guys, especially using them together, I find gives a really flawless and full coverage look and this lasts me all day long, so highly recommend. Then I just go in with this MAC brush and just kind of pat over it in patting motions on top of my eyelids and right onto the under eye section just to kind of make sure all the product is seeped into the skin and I just really like doing this extra step, so that's what I'm doing. To contour my skin, I'm taking Anastasia Stick Foundation in the color Mink. Now, I have not used this product in a while, at least on camera with you guys, and I love it. So it's always a product I go back to. It is the perfect shadow shade to go ahead and sculpt out the skin. I'm obsessed. I put it into my cheekbone areas, sides of my nose, my jawline, and my temples, and then I just go in with this angled brush. This one is from LA Girl, one of my holy grails. Like, you need this product. Just go get the brush. You will thank me later. I'm going to go ahead and blend this in and it seriously melts into my skin, but also gives a full coverage appearance because it is a foundation, I guess. Like I just feel like it gives the most beautiful contour to the skin and so effortless. So I love it. It is always a product I return back to. So when I'm doing a full glam look, this is something I always use. So I'm going to go ahead and blend all of this in and it just, look at this, like just melts like butter. I love it. To set everything down, I'm taking my favorite Milk Makeup Setting Powder. This is the Translucent Light Color, and I'm using this little sponge that comes with it at the very top of the little bottle, and I'm just pressing into that mesh little sifter and really getting the product on there, and then just pushing and rolling into the skin. This makes your makeup seriously set, like, in an instant. So I'm not technically baking, but I am applying a decent amount under the eyes and, like, the sides of the nose. I love the way this product makes my skin look. It seriously blurs every everything like it is a blurring powder it's incredible and it does make everything last all day long and stay put so totally love it I put up more on the sides of my nose as well I do put it on my chin and then my forehead area too and then I'd go ahead and with a separate brush and brush it away since I personally don't like to leave powder on my skin um, that's just personal preference like you totally can to bake and make a full coverage appearance But for me, I just look a little dry So I like to wipe it away instantly But I also put it underneath my contour as well to kind of shape that out too
For my eyes today, I'm going with BH Cosmetics. It's my Ray Ray palette. I'm going in with all of those brownish shades just to kind of get a matte look on my eyes. Now, this is probably a look I've done before, but it's just something I like to go to, especially when I'm doing a pretty full coverage look. I feel like this is always the eye look I go to, which can be boring to some, but to me, I'm obsessed. So that's what I figured I'd do today. I'm just going to kind of run these shades from inner to outer corner and just get it on my lid. And we're just going to build it up to become a all matte look. And then I do add a little bit of a shimmer to the inner corner, but I'm just going to kind of let this play so you guys can see it because it is pretty repetitive to a look I've done, but I just wanted to throw it in here as well. Just pretty much building up the colors. I just go back and forth with those three deeper kind of colors just to kind of blend from the outer corner and then into the like crease and transition area just to kind of get those colors kind of all blended together and I just want overall like a matte vibe happening on the eye so I just kind of keep going and blending from outer to inner corner and just getting it to my desired color but those colors are really bomb and they're pretty pigmented as well so love. As I'm blending, I will continuously go in and lightly blend onto the actual lid with that same brush just to intensify the middle section of the lid as well and just kind of have like a gradient fade. Once I blend in my desired look on my lid, I'm just taking a little bit of that deeper shade with a precise brush and running it on the lower lash line area just so it kind of meets up with the top portion. Then I'm just taking that shimmery shade in the palette and just applying it to the inner portion of my eye. So like the very, very inner portion of the lid as well as the inner corner. Hopping back into the skin for one second, I'm taking Laura Mercier bronzer. This is the Sole One Bronzer on this stippling brush and applying it right over top of our contour just to kind of set down the contour and add additional bronze to my skin. I love this bronzer. It is so good. It smells amazing and it is one of the bronzers I... So for highlight, I'm taking Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. This is a holy grail highlighter of mine. It is amazing. I'm applying it to my brow bone to start. I love it. The reflection on this and the actual pigment is incredible. It is drugstore and I just absolutely love it. I'll also apply it to the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose as well as my cupid's bow and then we'll go in with a sponge to apply it on my cheekbones. Then I'm just going to dip in here with my sponge and just apply it directly to my cheekbones. Using a sponge to do so, I feel like it really pulls the pigment, melts into the skin, and it doesn't look extra, like, much because we have a lot going on on the skin already. I don't want to add too much powder and all of that and cake it up. So sometimes using a highlight like this, especially using a sponge, really just makes it melt that much more into the skin. For lashes, I'm going with the new Extension Seeker by Salon Perfect in the style 663. I love these. They do look like lash extensions in my opinion, and they are so nice and fluffy, just amazing. So before I go in and glue them on, I'm just taking a brush and using the Laura Mercier bronzer, just kind of going over those areas, and then taking a matte bronzer and putting it on my lid. And then we're gonna go in and glue on the lashes, taking the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara, just kind of coating them together so everything meshes evenly, and doing a tiny, tiny bit on my lower lashes, like I'm talking a tiny bit, um, just to kind of coat those a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit more highlight because that is what I do, but at this point, if you don't like that, you don't have to add any more. I just like to add it to the very tippy tops of my cheekbones just to kind of emphasize that area just a little bit more. Taking Ofra Rodeo Drive and just doing the same exact thing to kind of set down that tippy top of the cheekbone just so it kind of pulls a little extra. For my lips, I'm taking LA Girl Lip Liner. This one's in the color Flesh, I believe. And I will, again, will have all these linked down below. I'm gonna go ahead and line those up, fill them in, and it's a beautiful nude color. So again, I feel like I've done this kind of look before, but it's mainly to show you all the products I would use for a full coverage kind of glam. So super easy to achieve, and I just wanted to get another one of these out there for you guys. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line those up, and then to go right over top of it for a pretty glossy look, I'm going with the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the color Literally. This is 
one of my favorite lip glosses. It is so beautiful, so pigmented, smells bomb, and it just looks super nice. Taking a tiny bit of Wander Beauty on the Glow Blush, I'm just going to dab on a tiny bit using that Juno & Co. sponge onto the areas I want to have a little bit more of a blush, like flushy look. Obsessed. And that pretty much completes this entire look. I'm going to go ahead and spritz up my face quickly using the Urban Decay setting spray, and then that will complete my full coverage glam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe found it a little bit helpful. This is something I go to when I want a full glam. So I hope you guys did like it. Be sure to check below for all the products I used in today's video, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.